Well, for all of you guys begging for a Lawson Lindsay collaboration, today is the day. Check those guys out. We're gonna be working with some fiddler crabs today. All right. Good start to the morning when the engine doesn't take 27 pulls, but go ahead and grab Lawson here and uh, get going. All right, buddy. Welcome to the Ginu. Anything to take care of or anything? Uh, just pass me, pass me your rods. I'll put them like under the gunnels right here, just like these ones. And then uh, just hop in the middle right here on the logo. All right, well, welcome to the Space Coast. Hopefully we'll be able to knock out like some sheep's head, redfish, trout, maybe tarpon. Dude, I love it up here, man. It's yeah. so nice. I've, I've been here a handful of times, but not hunt. It's just always been very, very exploratory. Yeah. All right, I think what we're gonna do, since it's so foggy right now, I think we're gonna start off throw. I mean, you have artificial on already, which will be fine. We'll go for tarpon, see if any are rolling. Then uh, switch over to like, we got, uh, I just mentioned this earlier, but we brought fiddler crabs today. We got about six dozen in there. So we'll probably work with some sheep's head, redfish, black drum with those. And uh, yeah, we'll throw, we'll start off throwing artificial here in the morning. <laughs> Fish is still on. Fish is still on. I might be able to just slowly pull them through. Oh, got him. You see my pliers anywhere here? Alright, I'm switching over to and I'll be in little mullet here. Because I have not seen anything worth throwing a fiddler crab at. We keep seeing a lot of snook here, so just gonna switch over something that'll to that'll snook weight. I got one right there. This might work if I can make. He didn't spook off it. There, there. This either goes good or it doesn't. Go. Oh. Oh. That was a huge snook. Huge red, huge red, huge red. Dang. Come on, buddy. I just got to make sure he doesn't get in the trees. Nope, nothing but pray that this fish doesn't get in the trees. All right, we got him out. The trick here with a Ginu, it's really tough because on a Ginu, the fish can pull the entire boat even when the trolling motor is going the opposite direction. But, that was so sick. Yeah, I had a really nice snook come up to the little mullet, look at it. And then redfish came in there and whacked the crap out of it. Oh, that right there, I swear, is one of the most difficult things I deal with is when fish are too big. Oh, he's bleeding. That's not good. No, when fish are big enough to pull the boat into the into the trees. No, I thought he was about 30. Just what he looks about. I thought he was bleeding, maybe not. I hook him deep. I literally set the hook a second he inhaled it. Oh yeah, I got him in the tongue. He got him lost. <sighs> got the tail, yeah, okay. bleeding a little bit. So let's go ahead and get him unhooked quickly and try to get a safe release away from the dolphin. Probably a 30 incher. Where the heck did my pliers go? I literally just had them. Yeah, it got hooked in the tongue exactly what I thought. 
hook came out easy. All right, boys, well, here. We have so much blood in the boat. I'm gonna steer this boat over this way because there is a dolphin here, so I'm gonna try to get a release up in the trees. <sighs> Not bad, guys. Get this guy in the water here. Should be okay. Hopefully this bleeding will stop. <sighs> All right, we're in the trees. That sucks, man. Redfish are one of those fish that if you get them like in the tongue, they start bleeding, which is annoying, but nothing I can do about that. Yeah, he's ready. Should be good to go there. Yep, took off back in the trees, and hopefully he'll be safe from those dolphins because the dolphins are back there, and I don't even think they realized we released that fish. Yeah. You see him, right? The right of that. Yeah, dark shining. Oh, you got a snook or a tarpon? That is a redfish. Is it? Yeah. No way. Is it really? Oh, it's a stud oh, trout. <laughs> Dude, you just swung them in here like nothing. Yeah, it's a boy. We were real quick with that trout. That is a stud, stud trout. One of the bigger ones I've caught. Yeah. All right, well, this is not good. I wasn't recording for that. I don't know if you were. I had my little mullet dangling in the water. Something hit the bait and took the rod and ripped it out of the boat. No, dude. I'll keep an eye out here to see if it pops up anywhere. But that is actually really annoying. You ever had that happen before? Never in my life have I had that happen. I've had stuff eat baits right next to the boat while I'm not paying attention, but dude, I just had a $200 reel fly out the boat. Oh man, this is oh, <laughs> what a day so far. <laughs> I know, I got I got another rod at my house if I need to get it too, but... We, we could say it was a redfish or a snack, you know It was like. probably a jack. It was a jack. I'm sorry, I even oh showed my up God. I got here, the jack came and... <laughs> I just can't win this year. I lose a camera, fish stealing rods off the boat. I literally, it's an artificial bait that was dragging and got hit. I pray that this thing pops up. I mean, it's not gonna float, I guess. The you know, only chance would be, this will work. All right, well now I'm on, uh, I'll throw this bait caster here, and that hurts really bad. I'm very sorry, that, that really sucked, holy crap. Oh my I gosh. Thought, I thought you like dropped it or something? No, it literally was just sitting there and just like shot over the other side and it literally just took off. Ugh. All right, well, oh, keep catching fish. You can make a cast in there, he's gonna eat, I think. That's close. That's close. His head's coming out right now. Now's the perfect time. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. On it, on it, on it. He's not eating it, though. <laughs> That's hilarious. He's still on it. Yeah, he's still sitting right here. That was really interesting. He got right up on top of it. And yeah. Got him. Our phone on the bait cast. He was sitting there laid up. <laughs> Well, oh, threw it. <laughs> right on time. Not afraid? Just threw it. I'll take it. Would that be, would that be the first tarpon hooked on a baitcaster? Yeah, it, that was definitely the first tarpon hooked on a baitcaster. Dude, for things like this, it's actually super nice where you can just like do a little flip right in their head. Like yeah, that. exactly. All right, well, I'll take that tarpon. <laughs> that would be a good title. That would definitely get clicks. <laughs> Fishing with Lawson Lindsay costed me three hundred dollars. I don't know what that is. Oh, oh, oh! Keep it going. Keep it going. <laughs> oh, on it again. Oh, we got it that time. Nice. Oh, and there he goes. Lawson, throw it right here. See these? Just throw one. Let me, I got too close here, I got excited. <laughs> you can see all these tarpon in there. Yep, that'll work. They're all tarpon. Yeah, there's tarpon and drum. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> nice. That was sick. <laughs> They're all drum right there. Literally all drum. Oh, you got them in the head. I think. What a spot to hook a tarpon. <laughs> That'll work. Dude, I cannot put it where I need to put it, man. 
Yeah, they are drum. Why, dude? Oh, there's a giant snook looking at me right here. See this snook right here? Austin, you can make a better cast than I can. He's facing right at us. Yep, yep, yep. He ate it. Oh, did he just fray you? Hold on, watch out, watch out, watch out. I might be able to get him. Oh my god. I got him. No way. How, how, how big is this line? Oh god. I don't want to put two in him. Dude, no way. No way. Watch out, watch out. That literally, you just hooked him. He ate the bait, and I think I, he might have he might have spit it out. Yeah, you fr he frayed off, and I threw in front of him, and he gets, and he eats. Two in a row. Working him on the bait caster. Keeping him kind of loose here. I've got him in the top of the mouth. That was a, that was a nice snook, dude. He ate twice. He was ready to go. <sighs> Alright, play him slowly. Lawson said this is 25 pound fluoro, is it? Yeah. Alright. I'll take it. We just gotta make sure we get this hook out of the mouth and we don't. Yeah. Yeah, I did. That's a stud snook. Yeah, dude, he's roughed up. I'm gonna try to get his head up right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Oh, he's, he's, he's that's a big he's snook, big snook, big snook. Get him, Lawson. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Look at that. How cool that is. Let me see. I have never seen that before. He does. He's got. What is that? Can you, are you able to pull that off him? I mean, should we pull it off or just leave it on? Straight up barnacles. How big is that? That's like a thirty-three. Oh my god. He's way. He's way bigger than I thought. No, I don't think he's that big. You want to lay him down right here? He got him. Zero. What is he at? Thirty-five inch snook. Close. He's probably thirty-five. Thirty-four, thirty-five. Yeah, he's he's thirty-five. How the heck did that just happen, dude? Bro, twenty-five pound fluoro. On the bait caster. That's actually ridiculous. <laughs> That's actually so ridiculous. Dude. Well, let me see that guy. Dude, that's like... Unreal. That's like a 15, 16 Big pound snook. Here, <sighs> Check that out, guys. I know you guys can probably, probably see this a little bit better in Lawson's video in a different angle, but how crazy is that? Dude, that's amazing. On the bait caster, we're making it work after getting a rod ripped into the water, which is probably one of the most unfortunate things I've ever happened while fishing. But you want to take a picture, Lawson? Good. It, um, you want to pull up closer? Yeah, we're gonna pull up into the mangroves. Stay still. We're gonna pull up here into the mangroves and do a sneaky release on this guy. Like, can we take these barnacles off of them? Like, you can't. I guess pull them off. Yeah, you're right. It can't be good for him. I've never oh, seen that before. That's so disgusting. Oh. All right, we're pulling into the trees here. Here, can you grab this rod for me, Lawson? Make sure that you hold on to that tight. All right, do me a favor. Try not to lean on the same side as me. And go ahead and get this guy back in the water. That fish was, was as big as I thought. And, uh, yeah, honestly, I hardly ever... You say he's 35? Yeah. I hardly ever catch snook that are like 35. Usually they're like 39 plus or 32 under. This is like a, it's a, it's a, it's a good size. It's that medium sized snook that I really don't find a lot of. That is actually ridiculous. <laughs> this is making up for that fishing rod. <laughs> All right, you ready bud? I'm gonna shoot you into the trees here. <sighs> All right. He's actually chilling. He's just sitting dead still there. Oh, now he's starting to move. Which is exactly what we wanted. Tough day for you, but it's <laughs> real good now. Yeah, exactly what we wanted there. Released them into the mangroves perfectly. Dolphins didn't even realize a thing. And uh, 
that's exactly what we wanted to do. So what, we got a redfish, we got a snook, we got a trout. Purple. We've had all four already? Oh, we I'm got like a grand, grand, like grand slam. <laughs> I didn't even realize we've been fishing. It's already eight. It's only 840 right now. So we've been fishing for roughly 45 minutes to an hour. Grand slam. Knocked out the grand slam. Grand slam oh, there's the snook. He's swimming along right there. All right, boys. Well, we just headed into a new spot here. We're going to be fishing a shallow water flat. I switched over to just a straight up three inch paddle tail with a quarter ounce jig head. If you guys are new to fishing, this is one of the best things to throw for, you know, redfish, snook, trout, tarpon, everything. everything really. I mean, a lot of people ask for my suggestion on baits and stuff. This is it right here. Almost any three inch paddle tail with a quarter ounce jig head will catch you a ton of different fish. So we've knocked out what redfish, snook, trout, tarpon today. Everything but a black drum. Everything but a black drum. We got the baits for the black drum, okay. but uh, yeah, lost a rod today, but uh, we're gonna try to knock out a couple more fish today. It's it's a really good day so far, besides the fishing rod. That's the damper on the day. He's on his way into the... If it was glassy, we're gonna start to be able to sight fish these fish really well. If this wind switches just a little bit more, it's blowing out of the... There you go, big snook, big snook. You're gonna jump out of the boat. You gotta jump out of the boat. Let Open the bale and jump out. Oh, okay. He's way down there, Lawson. Get him! Get him! <laughs> Is that waterproof? Okay. Dude. Holy crap. Is he still on there? Alright, I'm coming in with you. Cannonballing in. I watched him come out of there, dude. You still feel him? No way. <laughs> he got to, dude. He was. There's no way we're untangling that fish without you just getting out and chasing him. I've done that dance a lot of times. I'm gonna try to. Here, let me help you untangle this. Just if you got a good hook set in him, he's not coming off. That thing has a weed guard, right? Yeah. Okay. Go slow. This is. Is this braid? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's a big difference. Light red. Right Did you see the fish recently? No, I felt him surging though. There he is, he's still on, he's still on, he's right back in there. Oh, he's over there. He just broke off. Oh, no way. He's Positive? Over there. Oh. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I was like, I need to just go run. <sighs> Dang it. What was he, probably 30? Like, he was probably like It was a big snook. That no, was a big snook. Dang. Got a nice dip in. Got a nice dip, exactly. That was close. <laughs> close, man. That's all you could do there. I mean, I can't spin the boat around fast enough. Cause plus, he went through that one foot gap of the ma of the dock. <sighs> all you can do is hop out and chase him in that situation. He didn't even. They just swung. No, I think they swung out and ate something. That one's not gonna work. Where's his friend? Oh, I see his friend. Yep. <coughs> I'm gonna get the turtle. I drag super loose. <sighs> Dang it. Okay, I'm gonna just go in there and untangle him. There's another one. <laughs> Steer the boat. I'll just. Not too big. I just don't want him cutting me on these mangrove roots. I don't know how he's still going back there. Like, I literally have no clue. I don't know if I'm getting this thing out. Wait. Did I just hear him? You heard him? Where? See if you can see him over there. He's just probably went in a circle around with these mangroves. God, dang. You see him? No way. Probably can't see it, that's the problem. Here, I'll climb back in there and feel around for it. I kept, I, I mean, I kept hearing something in here too. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Fish is still on, fish is still on. I don't know if we can, hold on. I might be able to just slowly pull them through. I'm just gonna pull them through slightly, hand line them. Gotta be right in front of me somewhere. Yeah, he's 10 feet, 15 feet in front of me. 
Oh, yep, he's 15 feet in front of me. Oh, man. Yep, I got him right here. Got him. Oh my god, that was not even a big snook. I just didn't have my drag set accordingly. Because <sighs> I'm just borrowing Lawson's rod for the day. But I don't know. This is probably going to be the last fish of the day for me. Still out there, Lawson? You got the rod? I don't know if we're going to be able to get that line out. All right, I'm going to send this fish on his way, Lawson. <laughs> like a 22-inch snook, but just, man, I was not ready for him to take off into the freaking mangroves there. I can't believe we got him. <laughs> nah, we're okay. I'm gonna send it. I'm gonna send this fish on its way. You ready? You ready, bud? Give him a push there. See ya. Get me out of this mess. Oh. Oh man, all that for like a 22-inch snook. But at least, hey, we got the hook out of him. We got the line out of the trees, and uh, we got the fish. Is it coming? He went all the way through there, all the way back into these mangroves and pushed through there. Just basically when I, you know, when he got into the trees, I opened up the bale because obviously if I didn't open it, he would have broke me on things like this, like these sticks that are, you know, covered in barnacles and stuff. All right, boys. Well, that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys appreciated this collaboration between myself and Lawson. I know since like the beginning of time on my channel, everyone's been begging for it. Oh, <laughs> nice duck. <laughs> I'm filming an outro right now. Lawson's hooked up. Is it a snook? Yeah, I think so. I know it's a big trout. It big is. trout. Yeah, yeah, it is a big trout. How's okay, that, that well, outro? <laughs> if you want to see this trout, go watch Lawson's video. I'm going to wrap things up. Guys, thanks for watching. Please hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel and hit the like button if you enjoyed today's video. I'll see you guys in that next video.